Hello, I am Tech Sergeant Michelle Johnson, Junior Enlisted Representative on the National Guard Joint Diversity Executive Council. The purpose of this presentation, Diversity and Inclusion, is to provide you with diversity training to help you be a more effective leader and value differences throughout our organization. For us to be prepared to respond to a variety of threats throughout the world, airmen and soldiers must be able to fight effectively in a dynamic global environment. Here is a brief overview of what this lesson will cover. First, we will discuss the meaning of diversity and inclusion by providing you a brief definition of what these concepts mean to the National Guard. Next, there will be time for group discussion within your work centers. I will provide you with a series of reflective and action questions to help generate conversation among peers and leaders. Finally, I will present you with the flywheel challenge, passing you the charge to start creating change in your organizations. In order to meet these objectives, I recommend the following. Use your leader's guide as a tool to guide you through this training. Specifically, you can reference pages seven through eight, 33 through 34, and pages 41 to 43 for this presentation. Designate a facilitator, preferably supervisors. The facilitator's job is to guide the group discussions to make sure the discussion stays on topic. Finally, facilitators. Please encourage everyone to participate and share their thoughts and concerns. It takes every individual in the National Guard to create positive, sustainable change. The objective of this lesson is to gain a basic understanding of diversity while learning the qualities of inclusion. More comprehensive understanding will come as we continue to self and group educate each other on these principles. The National Guard aims to provide an inclusive culture with personal growth, helping lead to organizational success. In addition, realizing the power of diversity and inclusion provides our force an aggreg aggregation of strengths, perspectives, and capabilities based on individual talents and contribute, contributions to the culture. We have to be willing to open our minds and accept differences, realizing difference can drive effectiveness, efficiency, and ultimately success. Now, based on these basic explanation of diversity and inclusion, ask yourself and discuss in your work centers the following questions. What does diversity mean to you? What does inclusion mean to you? You will have three minutes to discuss this question in your work centers. I hope you are able to reflect over your own ideas and assumptions of diversity and inclusion. Your reflection hopefully helped to stimulate important group discussion in your work centers. Now let's move on to the next question for your group discussion. How do we maximize individual strengths and combine individual abilities and perspectives for the good of the mission? You will have two minutes to discuss this question in your work centers. Your group discussion should hopefully be generating some very interesting dialogue, providing each of you with a new outlook on what makes each of you unique and critical part to our National Guard family. I encourage you to continue discussions at the end of this presentation and create personal and group action plans to create change within your organization. To help you create these action plans, let's move on to your flywheel challenge. This is your call to action. The flywheel is a concept embraced by the National Guard that requires all hands to push daily on the flywheel to create and sustain momentum, to change our culture and institutionalize diversity as a readiness imperative. Daily, ask yourself, what did I do today to help push on the flywheel? In addition, here are some sub questions. How do I raise the bar and my commitment to champion diversity in the National Guard? How do I live to ensure I include, engage, and empower all? How do I maximize individual strengths and combine individual abilities and perspectives for the good of the mission? You will have three minutes to discuss these questions in your work centers. More great discussion in the work centers. Now let's take this dialogue and the action plans you just discussed and start institutionalizing diversity in the National Guard. So we have so what we have talked about today with help of our with the help of our leaders guide we briefly discuss the basic meaning of diversity and inclusion to the national guard creating a cultural climate to optimize 
organizational strength. We then looked, took these basic principles and engaged in reflective group discussion. Finally, we accepted the flywheel challenge and further reflected on our individual behaviors to create a plan of action aimed to generate momentum towards positive change. Diversity and inclusion, respecting our unique individuality and our differences allows us each to contribute the best of ourselves. This is the proven strength of the National Guard. Join us on Millbook. You can find this presentation and more diversity tools at the web address on your screen. You can also engage in insightful conversation and create a network of diversity practitioners. This is a wonderful tool to enhance your leader's guide and your push on the flywheel.